Hey guys, it's Danielle. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My username is Rosie underscore reselling. And today I'm back with another Thread Up unboxing. If you saw my last video, I bought a $300 designer brand's rescue box. It didn't necessarily live up to my expectations. So naturally, I bought another one. No, this is not a designer brand's box. This is a DIY denim box and I got the 30 pound box so I've ordered this box before and it was pretty good last time I will say last time it came from Phoenix and this box is from Mechanicsburg PA the same place that my designer box was from so I'm not really sure if that warehouse is just not as good or what but we're gonna find out because I'm gonna open it up right now so I paid $53.99 for this. So the cost of the box, it's a 30 pound box. Oh geez, I don't wanna cut anything. The cost of the box itself is $40, but I didn't have a free shipping code, so I paid the $5.99 shipping, so $53.99. We'll see what's in it. Yeah, here's my receipt. It doesn't show the shipping, but I paid shipping, so. Put this back here. Has the pretty tissue paper as always. <laughs> okay. The first pair that I see are a pair of papaya jeans. This is like a junior small brand, I would say. They're a size one black jeans. They're distressed. They're not in terrible condition. I mean, they have some wash fade, but I'll probably try to sell them given that it's so hard to find inventory right now. The next pair is a pair of guest jeans. These are definitely an older pair of guest jeans. This is what the back tag looks like. Um, but they're not vintage, so not super desirable. Uh, they're low rise, which is not in style necessarily. Um, they don't have any pulling and they don't seem to have any like real damage. So I'll probably try to sell them, but I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. Okay, next. Oh, nice. Okay, these are a pair of Banana Republic Super Stretch Legging Fit Jean. And they do have the three dots. I'm not sure if you can see it under Banana Republic, which indicates that it is from the factory store. But they look to be a high rise. They don't appear to have any pulling at the crotch area and the Oh, okay. See, they're ripped in between the legs. So, no. The, I'm not going to sell those. Next pair is a pair of Levi's. Just a modern pair, not a vintage pair. These are the mid-rise skinny. Mid-rise skinny, yeah. They look to be okay. The, again, wow. Really bad pulling in, like, the inner thigh area. This one is a lot harder to see, but I'm not going to sell those. It's not looking great so far. My last box was definitely better by this point, but that's okay. These are a pair of Fashion Nova jeans. I'm not sure if Fashion Nova has like a retail store, but they do have online, you know, shopping. These are a high rise. They're a size five, which is a junior size, but that's okay. I'm not upset with these. I'll sell them. Fashion Nova doesn't sell for a lot of money, but I've had success selling it in the past for like 10 to $12, so let's get this out. This is definitely a jean jacket. Sanctuary Surplus? Now, I've heard of Sanctuary. I'm not sure if you can see that, but not Sanctuary Surplus, so I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is a white denim jacket, and it looks to be in pretty good condition, but given that it's white, I'm going to definitely look it over for spots, but as of right now, I'll sell it. What's next? Okay. I will say so far that these are all women's jeans. And last box I had, I had quite a few children's jeans. It's just that the children's jeans were balanced by women's jeans that ended up being really good brands. Okay, I say that. And I this is a pair of men's jeans. These are J. Crew the Dregs. And again, this is from the J. Crew factory store. But these look to be in good condition. So I have a feeling that I'll be able to sell these for $10 to $15. You know, I think the cost of goods for this box will end up being roughly $3 a piece, so that's not too bad. 
in terms of my ability to make profit on the box. So I don't have to sell everything to make my money back or to make a profit. These are a pair of J brand jeans with the tag for J brand. And these are the, the pencil leg Mariah. Hmm. I assume that's like a straight leg. Looks like a straight leg. Wow, these have a very long inseam. And they're a low rise, which is not super in style, but some people still do want low rise jeans. They're an army green color. They look nice. I'll sell those ones, obviously. <laughs> this is a denim skirt from a very, very old label, BKNY jeans. So this is definitely not the trendiest style, but I'll probably list it on eBay and I'll use the keyword modest because a lot of times people will look for these um, below the knee length skirts um, who are wanting to dress more modestly. So I'll try it. There are a lot of jeans in here. I will say I'm just, there's a bunch. Okay, these are St. John's Bay, which I probably wouldn't necessarily try to sell anyway, but also they do have a, like, discoloration there. They're not a bad style. They're like a blush pink color, and they're a skinny jean, so I might try to get that out and try to sell them, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, these are a pair of Joe Fresh jeans, and it appears that the this might have been the size tag. It was definitely the materials tag. Um, yeah. So the size tag is cut out. So given that Joe's jeans don't have, or Joe Fresh jeans don't have a particularly high resale value, I'm probably not going to try to sell these without a size because jeans are sort of something you want to have a size on. Another pair, also with the size cut out. Same with these. Actually, now that I have two, I will like compare them to each other and see if they might be the same size. And if they are the same size, I might consider bundling them up and selling them together. But I definitely won't sell them separately. What is this? Oh, these are really nice. This is a pair of loft blue pants, and they're a size 8 petite. They are really nice, actually. They have a zipper detail at the ankle. Yeah, I'm not sure what they found wrong with these. Okay, there is a slight hole. You can't really see it because the color is so dark. But this is my size, so I might just try these on and keep these. Okay, this is a pair of... D & Co, which is Denim & Company, black jeans. They appear to be high rise. They're a bigger size, which is nice. They're 12, um, and they look like a straight leg. So I might try to sell these, not a high-end brand. I'll probably get eight to $10 for those, maybe less. This is a pair of Hollister jeans, but this isn't the oldest label of Hollister. So I probably will try to sell these as long as they have no flaws. I will say, I think that they're boot cut by looking at them. Yeah, they're a boot cut, so that probably won't go for a lot of money, but I'll try it. Why not? Yeah, there's still a ton left in here, so this is a, a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, these are new with tags from Barney's. Wow. This is a pair of NSF jeans that are called the Straight Slouch. And they have a price on here for $189 that was marked out and reduced. But I've never heard of this brand. It does look nice. They are new. So I'm definitely, they're distressed. I'm definitely going to look this brand up and hopefully it will go for a decent amount of money. We'll see. Here are a pair of denim shorts. These are from Refuge. And this is a brand that was sold or is sold at Charlotte Russe. So again, not an amazing brand, but I do know people who like these. They have all the buttons. I just didn't button them. Who like these shorts, and they have like a frayed hem. It's short season, so I'm going to list them. Okay, next. This is a pair of H&M black shorts, and they're in pretty good condition. They're a size 10. This is actually like my favorite pair of shorts right here. This is like a style from H&M that I love to wear, but I'm not a size 10, so I'll sell these. People like them. They're not going to go for a lot. Five to ten dollars, probably. And normally, I try not to list things that are like five to ten dollars, because it's not always worth my time. 
but while we're all still stuck at home, or at least I'm still stuck at home, I am desperate for things to list, so I'm gonna list them. Okay, another pair of J brand. There we go. And these are, what style are these? The skinny leg in ink. These do have some pulling, it appears, like in the crotch area. Oh, I can't see it. Sorry, the light is not great. There's some pulling in the crotch area and a lot of thinning, so I don't think I'm going to sell these. Anything I don't sell, I will simply donate, or they can be sold at a thrift store, or maybe at the bins, whatever. Tinseltown. Denim Couture. Never heard of it. It appears to be probably a junior's brand. Yeah, they're a size 5. Um, they have some, they're like a green color, skinny leg, and they have some studs right here. Doesn't look like they're missing any, so I might look this up. We'll see how much it goes for, and given that they're in good condition, as far as I can tell, I'll sell them. My pile's getting big over here. Okay, Massimo Supply. This is from Target, which I'm sure most of you know. These are like a burgundy color. Um, they're a size, oh, it says nine and fit six, so maybe fit six is like a style. Not sure, but they seem to be in good condition. There's no pulling or anything, so I'll probably try to sell these. Again, not a lot of money, but all these eight to ten dollars or five to ten dollars are going to add up, and they're going to help me recover the cost of the box and make a profit. Hopefully, <laughs> another pair of Fashion Nova. Yep, these are a five six again, high rise, good style. So I might lot them together if the other pair is a size five six. I didn't look, but might be lotted up together. Another pair of shorts. These are Jordache. I'm not exactly sure where Jordache is sold, but these are, whoa, so little. They say size 7. I'm thinking that's 7 kids because this is tiny. Uh, but also kids shorts. That's fine. $5 probably. This is more of a chambray than a denim, but that's okay. Well, it says J. Jill denim. It's a size extra large. There's the tag. Oh, J. Jill. They just, oh, it's cute. Okay, it's a little denim skirt. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I'll probably sell that. I'll probably try to get 10 to 15 for this because JGL does a little bit better than some of these other brands. Okay, D Jeans. Not a high-end brand, not exactly sure where it's sold, but they are a size 22 women's. So in my experience, this is a little bit easier to sell plus size items. And this is a Bermuda length short, which is also great in a dark wash. It's short season, so I'm definitely going to sell this. Again, I'll probably try to get 10 to 15 for this because it's a more desirable size. Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. What is this? This just says skinny. Now, <laughs> when I'm on eBay, every time I type skinny jeans in my title, it automatically defaults to the brand Skinny Jeans. So I'm wondering if that is this brand. I've never sold it before. I'm going to have to do some research, and I have a feeling it's going to be very hard to do research on jeans that are called Skinny Jeans, but I'm going to try. They're solid black. They don't have any pulling. I'm guessing that a lot of these were rejected from ThreadUp because of brand or that they were listed on the site for a very long time and they didn't end up selling so they're sending them in a rescue box because there doesn't seem to be a lot of flaws with these items but they also are not desirable brands. I would say in my last box of denim from ThreadUp they were more desirable brands but almost all of them had flaws. So we'll find out which one will be better I guess. These are Massimo Denim The Boyfriend Short. Boyfriend is still a style that does pretty well for me. They're sort of not really a Bermuda length, but they're a longer inseam than like a short short. So I'll definitely sell these. I'm happy to be getting some shorts because it is short season. And I know I keep saying it. This is maybe a dress? Frank and Oak. This is cute. This is a dress, like a denim dress. I'm going to have to check and make sure all of the buttons are here. Nope. Oh yeah, it's missing a button, and I would just sew on another button, but it is very ripped. So we'll see if I can sew another button, like, slightly above it or slightly below it. Who knows? This will go in the maybe pile. Okay, we've got about 
There are five or six things left here. These are a white pair of denim. They're loft. They are the flare jeans. Okay, flare jeans are not a terrible style to be selling right now. Now they are white, so I'm going to want to check them over for flaws, stains, but they look pretty good. Also, next, these feel very worn. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they are. This is a pair of Forever 21 jeans. Oh, I'll get a little closer. But they're very worn. Like the waistband is folding over. They're extremely faded, which might be hard to tell on here. And there's a lot of thinning in the inner thigh, so I'm definitely not going to be selling these. These look like a trouser jean almost. Oh, no, they're not. They're an elastic waistband jean. They are not your daughter's jeans. So if you ever see this NYDJ, that's not your daughter's jeans. They're a size 8. They have an elastic waistband. I actually don't mind selling not your daughter's jeans. They used to sell much better than they do now, but I will still sell them. They're a skinny leg and with an elastic waistband. They have some pulling here in the crotch area, but I'm, I'm going to still try to sell these. We'll see because I have a feeling with the elastic waistband, it's meant to be a fitted style. And a lot of times with the pulling, you can't really see it if it's a fitted style. So people are more willing to buy it. Okay. Oh, BDG. So this is from Urban Outfitters. BDG. These are nice. They feel like a soft material, not necessarily a denim. They're nice. They're like a blue color. There's a white mark here but I don't think it's paint I think it's just like gunk so yeah I'll sell these they're the grazer mid-rise which is a skinny jean mid-rise skinny jean all right looks like we've got two more things in here another pair of loft jeans and these are the high waist skinny so high rise skinny is always a good style or at least for me it is yeah, and they're a dark wash. They don't seem to have any problems. There's a bit of distress in here. I'm not sure if that was factory done or if it just happened from wear. Either way, I don't think it affects the wear wearability of the jeans, so I'm still going to try to sell them. Ooh. And this is a pair of J. Crew Factory. Oh, 26 short. That's what it says. I was like, 265. These are the matchstick jeans, and I'm fairly certain that matchstick jeans are a straight leg. Yeah. They have a lot of wear on the knee. They are an older style, but I'll probably still try to sell them, maybe 5 to $10. And that is the last item. So the box is now empty. I will say that was not <laughs> nearly as good as the box I got from Phoenix. So... Maybe things from Mechanicsburg aren't as good as the ones from Phoenix, or maybe it's just totally hit and miss, and it just got unlucky with my last two boxes. I definitely think that I will recover my money, and I definitely think that I will make a profit, but it's going to be a lot of work because these are all low-dollar items. I mean, I didn't even get one high-dollar item. The BDG jeans might sell for $20. Some of the loft jeans, if I'm really lucky, might sell for $20, but... I would say it's not as bad as a designer box because I am going to be able to make a profit. I'm almost certain of that. Uh, would I order it again? I'm not sure. It is a really good deal. I think it's a good deal because you're getting so many items. But as far as would I order it again when I'm not trapped at home in quarantine? Probably not. <laughs> so you can make your own decision about whether you want to buy a thread up DIY denim box. And I'm not sure if the exact cost per item because I don't... I didn't count how many pairs that was. I'm not going to count them all right now. But not bad. Not bad overall. So catch you next time.